video review for you. This time we're taking a look at Takara's newest masterpiece, uh, Masterpiece 17 Prowl. Uh, as you can see, he is a Datsun Fairlady Z280. Uh, you can't see the missile launchers through the window, which is a little weird, but whatever. Uh, patrol is spelled properly. Uh, very clean looking. Uh, it does have visible hand syndrome, and if you pull this panel up, you can see the head. But other than that, very, very clean looking. Uh, does have a tailpipe. A little sparse with paint apps. Uh, could use the license plate. But other than that, very, very, very pretty looking. Uh, there's a little nub right here for the antenna. The rear windshield wiper. Um, obviously, patrol lights. Very, very cool looking. Very nice. Rolls very nicely. Does have plastic wheels, not uh, rubber. But does roll very nicely. Does come with his gun. Um, the way you attach the gun in vehicle mode is there's a hole right here behind the sirens. Um, this does flip back and forth, so you want the hook part to be out to plug it into the sirens. And then, again, doesn't look conspicuous at all. See this guy rolling down the street? Totally, totally wouldn't, uh, wouldn't think twice. Just like Sideswipe. So yeah, take a look. The gun, well, let's take a look at the gun right now. It's very proud, very cool looking. Um, to, to, uh, to get this ready for for uh, robot mode, you just pull this uh, the hook back and then push it until it snaps. And the gun does fit in the hand a lot nicer than uh, Lambo's. So that's good. So yeah, not a time to say about the vehicle mode. It is incredibly pretty looking. Very, very clean. Like I said, the only downside is the visible hand. But other than that, incredibly clean. So yeah, let's get down to transformation. One thing you do want to watch out for is these side mirrors. Are They are rubbery plastic, but that's a good thing because part of the transformation involves bending them, kind of. So you want to be careful of that. But yeah, so let's transform. Transform, pull on the wheels, and then actually fold this panel all the way out first. Just gets it out of the way. Grab the wheels, and then pull the arms down. There's a hinge right back in here. And then just split them apart, and kind of stretch them out. And then you can totally just do that. So yeah, take those like that. Come over here, and you want to see the, you can see the, uh, the under part of the hood now. What you want to do is put pressure on that. And I'll snap the hood up. And just lift the hood up out of the way. Now what you want to do is fold the wheel wells with the the mirrors. They're on a double hinge. Actually no, I'm sorry. Pop the head up first. Just reach in here, get the head and push it up. It does not snap into place, so do not force it to. But you can see the head there. You can totally just drive around with his head poking out if you wanted to. Um, so you just push that up as far as it'll go and don't force it. Then you come down here and there's two grooves. There's two cuts in there. And what you want to do is you want to fold these up on the double hinge. See, there's a double hinge right there. And kind of just slot that in there. It does not lock into place. It's not forced into place. It just kind of sits there. So you want to come over here and do the same thing on this side. And just get it up on that double hinge. And you just kind of want to pinch it in, and then wherever it sits, let it be, so they should be symmetrical. As long as they're symmetrical, you're fine. Next, we'll come over here, and we'll just kind of like... The windshields are not attached to the doors. So what you want to do is you want to pop the doors off, just the doors. See, the windshields and the, the, windshields and the doors aren't attached. And then I'm going to fold them out and out of the way. Same thing on this side. See, they just peg in with that white peg. Just pegs in right there. Fold those out. Now you want to fold, let me lift the camera off so you can see a little bit better. Fold these back up on this hinge. Just watch out for everything. I just fold the arms up and out of the way. Just fold these all the way up at this hinge. And then, come on, there we go. Now what you want to do is just make sure that the uh, side mirror parts are going in properly and then you want to fold this up and what you're going to do is when you fold this up you kind of like pull it out a little bit like that 
because it's going to slot in to, let's see if we can show it off, okay. There's a slot right, see those two pegs? And then there's a slot right below it. That's going to tab into there. And also, as you can see, these side mirror panels are going to go down. So you just kind of go like that and just push until it snaps. Then what I like to do is come in the back and just make sure yeah, that's good. I just like to go in the back and make sure because every once in a while I'll transform him. And uh, let me just double chuck. Yeah, good. Um, and then you also want to fold this panel down and fold that flat. Kind of fold the wind at the doors out of the way too. Let me see if I can. And then the problem is everything's black in there. You can barely make out the two winch, the two side mirrors in there. But I just like to check to make sure that those are uh, next to each other and not hitting anything, because otherwise that will cause problems. That will and will end up uh, flexing that plastic. Um, next, there's two clear tabs right there, and they're going to peg into these slots up here, and I'm having a hard time focusing. Up here, up behind the shoulders, so you just kind of lift it up, give it a little push, and those peg in, and this came unpegged. Okay, sorry about that. Somehow I think I got this panel behind the thing that was where it was supposed to peg into. So again, double checking. Make sure that everything is lined up properly inside. Okay, it is. Again, come up here, peg that in to his back, kind of lift up on his shoulders, just get them up and out of the way for now. Um, it does bend two places at the elbow, so we'll, we'll get into that later. Um, the doors I'll show you last. Take this whole section here, split it. Now the legs are a little weird, but cool. So after you split them, actually even before you split them you could have done this, but you want to pull up on these panels. Doesn't matter if you do this before or after, but pull up on these panels and just get them out of the way because they kind of lock in, lock everything together. And now what you want to do is come right here and kind of pull out. See, there's a peg right there, and that peg's in there. And there's a cool double hinge. That, I if I can show you. Okay, right there. That's the way, best way, probably the best way to show you. See that hinge right there? It folds up for alt mode, and then when you fold it out, it folds down for uh, robot mode. So then there's this white panel here that you just kind of pull up, fills out the leg, extend it out, See that black piece right there? Just stand it out like that. Come behind here and fold the mirror down. Fold back this white piece. It doesn't peg in, it just sits there. And then uh, fold out this black piece for the heel. And repeat. Fold it out. Down. Fold that white piece. Fold down the panel. Stand out the foot, fold that up, Oops. and then uh, fold out the heel. And it's cool because it's cut. There's a half circle right there that fills in, fits in over the uh, that section right there. And there you have him done. No, not really. Rotate him at the waist. And there you have his lower half done. Try to pull back a little bit. So yeah, next and final, finally, um, take his doors, and they have a kink to them. They have a ratchet, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it. There's a point that they will fold up to. And there you have Prowl in his robot mode. And he is fantastic. So, as far as articulation, head is on a swivel uh, and a hinge up and down. Shoulders are on a hinge and a ball joint. Um, double elbows, uh, mostly for transformation. You really want when you bend the elbow, you kind of want to bend it down here because otherwise it looks funny. 
um, wrists swivel and they are articulated open but unfortunately they are all together so they open like this it's not like uh, most of the other mesh pieces where it's the index finger and these three fingers it is all one piece but uh, they're not sculpted all together as you can see like they're a little bit uh, like I don't even know how to do it but they're not uh, they're not just a straight line like that they're kind of all off centered a little bit so it looks a little bit more natural which is very cool rotates at the waist now at the ball, not the universal joints at the hips, so in and out, forward and back. Bends at the knee. Um, you also have this for a transformation. Um, there's no cut. Actually, there is a cut. Yeah, but the, okay, there's a cut, but it's like kind of inside, so this whole section moves. It's not like a clear cut that way. Um, no, there's a there's a pivot in the ankle, but there's no rotation at the ankle. It's just kind of a, it's just a forward and back pivot, and uh, that's it. So you can get very cool poses out of this guy. So for the gun, open up his hand. Every uh, very similar to all the other ones. There's a cut on the handle, and it just slots in, and you close his fist around it like so. So yeah, there he is holding it. Very awesome. So he does probably have the best head sculpt of any masterpiece, or maybe even any Transformer. I mean, that's just awesome looking. Totally represents, totally uh, recreates G1 Prowl. So yeah, obviously I highly recommend picking this guy up. Um, will he, he is licensed by Nissan, so I don't know where Nissan stands with licensing to uh, Hasbro, but I kind of expect to see this guy come out in America. Uh, if you don't want to wait, pick him up now. There's nothing wrong with picking him up now. I think, it, oh, missile cannons. Totally forgot about the missile cannons. You can detach that, fold up the cannons, and then just pick this back up. Now the cannons do look kind of derpy, but that's because you have to extend them. You kind of just want to rotate them as you pull. And that will extend them all the way out. They don't click or anything, they just pull out a certain distance. Oh, and there are cuts on them. I didn't see that. I never noticed that. I don't really play with the cannons, but there are actually cuts built in. Look like for, uh, to line them up the right way. But yeah, if you want to do the G1 toy version. You can't have the shoulder cannons built in. There are chromed ones, but those were uh, Amazon Japan exclusives, and I don't have it. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'll probably just buy the third-party ones because uh, Dr. Wu and other companies are making them. But if you want to do the toy accurate version, you can have the cannons. I personally just fold them back down. I like the cleaner look without the cannons. So my only real complaint has been with the feet and the back is incredibly hollow and pictures make it look a hell of a lot worse than it actually is. In hand, it's magnificent. I was not really, I was a little bit skeptical about it, mostly because of the feet, but once you get it in hand, he is spectacular. So yeah. Uh, like I said, you need to wait, see if he gets in the U.S. release or get him now. Getting him now is definitely not a bad idea, because he is amazing. So yeah, this has been the video review for Takara Masterpiece 17 Prowl.